Hey everybody, uh, my name is RJ, this is my cat Brimley, and uh, I still all the time get asked on his uh, social profiles how I keep him so clean and white and fluffy, so I wanted to do a video. I had done one a couple years ago on our grooming routine, and I uh, just wanted to do an updated one since I have a better camera now, and yeah, uh, and um, our techniques have evolved a little bit. Uh, normally we do this every single day, uh, as as often as I can, uh, but I've let him go for a couple of days just so that he's got, you know, some goop around his eyes that you can see, and uh, we're going to get that out just to show you the full effect, so we'll, uh, we'll get going. And uh, I will put a link in the video description to all of the products that I use, just because... I will probably not remember all the product, all the brand names and everything, but I'll provide links in there so that you can find whatever you need. Um, I'm going to start just with kind of a, um, a base coat grooming, uh, and I like to use this, uh, it's Andy's brand steel comb. I've tried a bunch of different combs uh, on his fur, and I've tried the Furminator and a bunch of different brushes and combs. This, as simple as it looks, is by far the best for his coat, and uh, he really loves it. Um, he usually purrs and purrs along and just loves being groomed, and this just pulls out the hair really nicely. Uh, just pulls out kind of the loose hair that is uh, likely going to come out anyway, or fall out anyway, so this kind of gets us a head start. So I'm going to go through with the coarse end. Um, and another nice thing about these these uh, Andy steel combs is they're super cheap on Amazon. I think the uh, I believe this is the seven inch version, and uh, it's only like eight bucks on Amazon, so super cheap. And as you can see, he is a fan of it. So I'm just going to kind of do the basic grooming. Um, you know, the eyes are obviously the most difficult part, uh, and he's not a huge fan of the of getting his eyes cleaned out so I like to kind of put that in the middle uh, of our grooming session and do this base grooming that he and I know uh, do this base grooming that he enjoys and then I'll kind of get the eyes done as quickly as I can uh, and then we'll just go back to kind of the final grooming with the comb and you can hear that he's already getting his motor going And he'll usually just, you know, crawl up my leg and kind of let me do this. And there's some spots, some spots he's not a big fan of, like around his butt back here. But you got to get those areas, especially like uh, underneath his tail, kind of around his butt area, and then underneath in his undercarriage, uh, under his legs. Um, those are kind of the areas that tend to get matted up. And because we, you know, usually groom every day. He uh, doesn't have any big mats right now, but if you do have any big mats to deal with, um, another thing in my little toolkit here, uh, I have this uh, wireless small electric clipper that just came in a clipper set that I got, and if you have any uh, big mats, we've used this. Uh, I, I know. I know. Um, we've used this to, to get those out, so, you know, it just small wireless clipper and what you can do is you can use your use the steel comb to comb underneath the the um, the fur where it is so it's creating a barrier between the skin and the fur that you're cutting off and then you can use the steel comb to go in and cut that out so a little something like this is super helpful if you have any bad mats that you need to deal with but for now we're just going to get kind of the main grooming and then I like to get his belly and the technique I used to get his belly groomed um, is sort of a modified version of scruffing, which you may have seen in uh, other videos or just have heard about. And scruffing is a technique of lifting up a cat. It's generally done on kittens because this is actually how the mom uh, cats grab their kittens with their with their mouth to carry them around. Uh, cats have this this area of their skin on the back of their neck here that's really tough and it doesn't hurt cats if you if you grab it as long as you're grabbing the skin and not the hair um, you can get a really nice handful of skin in there and you can squeeze 
essentially as hard as you want um, and, and it won't hurt them. Now, uh, you can use that just to lift them straight up. Um, I don't, you know, I, I just don't like doing that uh, full bore on him. So what I usually do is I'll scruff him, get a lot of that skin in there, and then I'll lift up and pull him towards me. And I'll let him use his feet to kind of balance himself on my, on my legs. So he's supporting his body weight and my scruffing grip is just sort of keeping him in the position that I need. And I'm going to kind of comb out his belly in here. Make sure that we're not getting any mats going. And then I'm just going to grab him underneath with my hand and put him back. So it's just a modified scruffing. It's a little bit more gentle on them. And uh, you can still kind of hold them in the right position and, and comb out anything that you need to. And I'm going to go through here just with my hands and feel around. Make sure we're not missing any mats. Uh, just especially under the arms. That's where those they really start to uh, kind of sneak up on you. So I'm just feeling around and he's... He's uh, a fan of that. <laughs> yeah, buddy. You're a good boy. Okay, so we've pretty much got kind of the main uh, fur combing out. And sometimes this, this comb can really bunch up a lot of hair. This actually isn't too bad for, for him. Uh, but if you haven't done it for a few days, that might bunch up. So... I'm going to take that out of the comb. That's another nice thing about this comb is it's super easy to take that hair out. I know. He's going to try to escape a little bit because he knows i got to do his eyes. So to do his eyes, uh, a few more tools are needed. You're going to need some sort of a wet wipe. Uh, I've tried a bunch of different brands. And uh, in my experience, as long as it's, a, uh, I, it's made for um, wiping a cat's eyes, I've... I've had almost no difference between the brands. They've been totally fine, never have irritated him or anything. Uh, so these ones, I can't even read that logo, but I'll, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, I just got them on Amazon. Uh, they were just well reviewed. So these ones are actually a bit of a smaller wipe than other brands I've used. So I take a couple out. I'm going to fold it over just so you have a good kind of wet wipe surface there. And you're also going to need, let's see, what am I going to do first? Uh, so you're going to need some kind of a makeup brush. Now th these, uh, I used to just get them at uh, like Target or uh, wherever the, um, wherever I could find one at the store. And they're the kind that have the comb on one side and a brush on the other. Um, I think they're for eye makeup. And uh Normally the comb is just a, a plastic uh, comb on one end and we use those for years and they work fine. Uh, and just recently I found on Amazon this one that I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it actually has a small steel comb on this side with rounded tips. And uh, I've only used this a couple of times and it really does a great job. So I think I'm going to stick with this from now on um, just because it pulls out. You'll see kind of if you let's see if he'll hold up his face. You know, if, if they have, uh, haven't been groomed in a little bit, they'll get sort of this dark, almost black uh, crust built up in there. And, uh, and the steel comb does a great job of getting that out. So uh, first what I'm going to do is just take this wet wipe. And I'm going to go in here and just sort of saturate his fur. And what I'm doing is uh, I'm grabbing... I'm grabbing the fur above the skin and then I'm just twisting like this. So I'm not actually twisting his skin. I'm just sort of breaking up the fur uh, that can get sucked together in there. So I'm going to get those areas pretty good and especially on the sides of his nose. They can get a little bunched up there. So I'm going to go ahead and get those. And like I said, he's not a huge fan of it. So I usually keep this pretty quick and It'll go a little longer with me explaining every step in this video, but once you have it down, we usually will get his eyes done in about a minute, and the whole grooming routine put together really only takes maybe five to ten minutes. So I'm going to take this comb, and I'm going to go with the, uh, with the comb end of it, and I'm just going to, he's not a huge fan of this, but I'm going to go in here and pull out those pieces, just the little black kind of stuck together pieces and get all that out of there 
and the steel comb really does an awesome job of that compared to the plastic so so far I'm very happy with this this comb I'm gonna kind of get the base out of there let's go over here on this eye All right, so we get the, the crusty stuff pretty much out of there. And it still looks discolored, but we will deal with that. So just like the big steel comb, we end up with a lot of fur in there. So I'm going to pull that out. <laughs> I know, buddy. I know. And now that I pulled out the chunks, I'm going to go in here and give it another once over with the clean side of this wet wipe. This isn't your favorite, I know. All right. So we're looking pretty good. Everything's at least broken up. Uh, before I get into uh, the actual eye cleaning and whitening products that we use, uh, he has these eye drops that, uh, that he's on just uh, once a week. They're a uh, prednisone, um, I know. Uh, medicated eye drop. When I first adopted him, he had a really terrible eye infection, and uh, he's healed up from that now. But uh, we're on these prednisone eye drops probably for the rest of his life once a week just to keep him healthy and uh, just for maintenance. So uh, if you have to, you know, do deal with any eye drops, uh, I wanted to show that on camera how we do it. I know. All right, so keep it real quick with the eye drops. All you have to do is, I know, grab a hold of their head here, and you're gonna pull up and down with your two hands, put a drop in there, do the same on the other eye, and you'll kind of get this grip down with practice. And then after I'm done putting that in there, I like to just keep them in the same position and. He's a fan of these chin rubs, so this is a good way to sort of keep it in there and let it soak in before he shakes. So when I let go, he'll probably shake his head a little bit. Uh, sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't, but I like to let it soak in there a little bit and sometimes kind of pull the eyes open and shut to make sure those eye drops get all around in there. I know. Okay, so give him some rubs and I'll let him shake it out if he wants. There we go. Put these eye drops away. I know, we're almost done, buddy. All right, and so now for the actual cleaning of his eyes. Uh, the products I use are uh, the Eye Envy brand, and they come with a, a liquid and a powder. And uh, the liquid, you don't want to use this every time. Uh, I believe the instructions uh, give you, you know, a good, I know, uh, give you a good overview of how often you want to do it, but Essentially, uh, you can use these uh, as you need every every grooming session to uh, get the big stains out. Uh, but eventually you want to switch over to just using the powder uh, as a maintenance thing. But since he's got some pretty bad discoloring, since I haven't groomed him in a few days, so I'm going to go ahead and use the liquid. So I take a little makeup pad, uh, just a little applicator pad that you can get. I, <laughs> I know, buddy. Uh, I just got these at the grocery store. And you're going to saturate it a little bit with the INV liquid. And then I'm going to grab him. And uh, the grip that I use to grab him, I'm, I'm holding my hand in a tight like C position here, but I'm not actually squeezing him. I'm just letting, I'm letting his resistance as I'm brushing his eyes sort of go into my hand. So... I'm holding a firm grip, but I'm not actually squeezing him. So it's it's comfortable, but he has a, uh, a base for his resistance to lean into. So I'm just gonna go through with this makeup pad and apply the INV liquid as a base in these uh, stained parts of his eyes and on the corner of his nose there, just like I did with the wet wipes. Okay, and then 
I, this is probably not necessary, but I like to go through with the comb end real quick and just make sure that the hair is nice and split up and ready to apply the powder. So this isn't quite as intensive as earlier when I was getting the flakes out. There we go. So just make sure it's nice and broken up and ready for the powder. And then, let me get that ready to go. So we don't need the makeup pad anymore. I know. I'm gonna clean the brush off. You're hearing a lot of Brimley's voice today. And here's the IMV powder. It's just a white powder and I use the comb end of the makeup brush to get that on there. And I know we're almost done. So what I like to do is sort of fold this powder underneath into his fur, uh, under his eyes, and he's gonna wiggle around a little bit, so I'm gonna try to do this pretty quick. But you can kind of see on the video this technique, I'm folding it under the, the fur. I know. Folding it under the fur and combing it out. And if you can get enough underneath that fur, it helps for sort of the, the following you know, hour or so after grooming. Uh, he, he might build up some tears and this will help sort of soak it up. I know, buddy. So I'm gonna comb that in there. And it's not gonna be perfect just because he's, you know, been without grooming for a few days. So don't go crazy. You know, just do what, do what they're comfortable with. And as long as you're consistent with this, uh, the stains will go away and and really he turn when we're consistent with doing this every day uh, he just turns out perfectly white so he won't end up perfect at the end of this grooming grooming session but you you'll see how this takes care of the the, the majority of the the build up and then as long as you're consistent with it uh, it'll just be perfect after a little while Let me get up here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're so tolerant. You're a good boy. Okay. Oh, there's a shake. So, I am going to go back to the Andy Steel Comb again. Now that we're done with the eyes. And like I mentioned earlier, Normally that eye, that eye section will only take about a minute if we're really going through it quick and I'm not explaining every step. So that can just be kind of a quick, I know you don't like this, but let's get it done. And then we go right back to the steel comb that he enjoys. So we're gonna comb out just, and this is, you know, we already got the big stuff out earlier. So this is just sort of a touch up. You can look at the camera and show how beautiful you are now. So you can see there's still a little bit of a discoloring under his eyes, but that'll go away. In, in his case, it'll probably only take a couple more grooming sessions for that to go away completely, just because we're normally doing it every day. So that is it. Uh, he's all done. That's our main grooming session. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And after grooming is the time when he gets his wet food treat, so I've got that ready to go. And I just wanted to show off the bowl that I use. Uh, I got it on Amazon. It's Dr. Catsby's Feline Remedies. And it's this nice sort of uh, dipped bowl that makes it easy on their whiskers to eat. Uh, and then I, it comes with this mat underneath it. And then I also 3D printed at work this uh, slightly angled platform like this. So it gives it kind of an angle for him to eat at. Um, and you can use whatever you want for that angle platform. I just happen to have access to a 3D printer at work, so I made that. And as you can hear him in the background, he is ready for his wet food, <laughs> his wet food treat. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this over. You can see the angled platform there. And he will follow me over to his spot. There we go.
All right, he's all done with his food now. And one other thing I like to do, and this might not be an issue with every cat, but his eyes tend to get wet um, after he's done with his food. So I like to come in here and he knows I'm gonna get him. <laughs> uh, and just real quick, after he's done eating, I'm gonna take my paper towel and go in here and just hold it for a second on each of his eyes and soak up that wetness that he gets after he's done eating. That's it. And then he is all good. And just by doing that, it's going to really help tears from coming in later on. So that's it. Thanks for watching.